This is me right now. This is me right now. Oh, oh, oh. Updates. It's been a minute. I failed on getting you guys an update on how it's going, how the pregno li prego life is going. All right, first we gotta show you the baby belly. Here is, here is the belly. There it is. She popping. She popping. Oh yeah. I feel like I had a growth spurt the past couple weeks. I thought my belly was getting big a couple weeks ago, but compared to now, like there's a baby in there. Oh yeah. Where to begin? I'm going to be making myself lunch, you guys. I'm starving, so let me get my food. I, I prepped this chicken, right? Put a bunch of frozen chicken in my Instant Pot with uh, like a little bit of broth, so like a pound of chicken, cup of broth, and just cooked it on high for like 12 minutes, and then I have made it shredded. So I have tons of prepped chicken. So I, it's not flavored, so then I can kind of like flavor it however I want. It doesn't have to be one flavor. So when I'm making meals, I just mix it in, right? We've got ourselves avocado. All right, I changed camera spots. Oh, we got cucumber. We got some mustard. I've been kind of obsessed with this. I haven't had any specific cravings for anything. I had more food aversions than I did anything. I feel like I get obsessed with like a meal and I'll eat them like every day for a week and then it changes, then I want something else. So it's never anything specific. So I'm actually going to do a whole half of an avocado. I eat avocado like nobody's business right now. Me. We'll just smash, smash this into the chicken. I have a big, the biggest sweet tooth and I don't want anything sweet. Like chocolate, like cookies, pastries, things like that. Like I'd want them every once in a while, right? But I absolutely despise them right now. But fruit, so sugar, like for fruit, I can't get enough fruit. So the last video, obviously there was concerns about um, baby, Put mustard in there. There's concerns about baby having Turner syndrome. All right, we are about to head out to our follow-up appointment. Hopefully, it's good, right? Yep. No more bad news. Our follow-up appointment. Um, everything that we were originally worried about are is now not even a worry anymore. So now the only thing that they're keeping an eye on is the heart because um, the doctor says, you know, everything's so little right now, not fully developed, but it looks like she could have a leaky heart valve. But we won't really know that until she's bigger. Right? Heart conditions are very common, like very common. A lot of times babies grow out, outgrow them. One more, another follow-up, and this is going to be a heart ectogram, echocardiogram. It's basically ultrasound of the heart of the baby. Um, but so far, everything's just been, Amazing. Well, if you guys didn't know this, cutting the ends and then going to the opposite end and rubbing them together like this, and we'll do this end, actually makes it so it's not super bitter. Chicken salad basically is kind of what I'm doing. I'm all about the fresh stuff. Fresh, fresh, fresh. And then I'm going to do a piece of toast. All it is is mustard and chicken and cucumber. That's pretty much it. Mmm. 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 Mm, mm. I've been meaning to get a YouTube video up to you guys, but my life has been so chaotic between, so I manage, coach about 25 clients right now, and I do Zoom calls with every single one of them, so Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays are typically taken up by Zoom calls, and I'm sitting in my office, Zoom calls, coaching, like, all day long. I do have a short period of time in the morning that I go work out, I have me time, and then by six o'clock at night, I check out, I spend time with my husband, um, and I relax, and when you're talking about mom brain, a lot of you mamas out there talk about, oh, just wait, mom brain, the mom brain. This is a real thing um, between being exhausted and forgetting half of the things and tasks that I need to do. I have to write stuff down, otherwise it's like, 
what was I doing again? <laughs> I'm also currently finishing up studying my CPPC, so Certified Pre and Postnatal Coach. Um, so I'm trying to get that done. Um, so between that, my clients, I'm also working on some new projects for my app and also doing prenatal programs to bring to my app. So it's just been craziness. So between trying to film and edit because I do everything, I have like, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna stress myself out. I'm not gonna force it. I'm gonna let it come natural. And so that's kind of like how I was looking at it. I didn't want it to be stressed out and not enjoy the process, filming, getting something up for you guys and enjoy the filming, right? All right, so here we are in the second trimester. I'm actually getting very close to finishing up the second trimester. Crazy, you guys, that I'm halfway there. First trimester, I did not have morning sickness. I did not have any really extreme symptoms usually that contribute to the first trimester. Um, I did deal, I think fatigue was the worst one. Uh, but I stay pretty busy, I get my workouts done in the morning, stay pretty busy and pretty active for most of the day. By nighttime, then I was dead. I was brain dead, I was done. Bedtime. I had a little bit of queasiness in the first trimester, but nothing I couldn't manage. Food aversion, so red meat, what was it, broccoli, eggs. Uh, those were some things that were absolutely a no-no for me. Uh, but now going into the second trimester, I can pretty much eat all foods again without having any weird fruit, food aversion. Energy levels came back, I'm feeling really good. The only thing now in the second trimester, my sciatic nerve. It was one side, now it's both sides, shooting down my, my butt. Overall, I feel amazing. I feel really good. And I know it completely, completely depends on me staying active. Um, obviously, I don't go anything crazy than, I, than what I was doing pre-pregnancy, you guys. So basically, I've been just continuing what I was doing for the most part. There has been some few modifications, but I kind of base it off how I feel. I'm not trying to increase weight. I'm not trying to increase intensity, anything basically maintaining as much as I can, per se. I haven't had round ligament pain. I haven't had any um, Braxton Hicks or anything along those lines. Recovery days, my stretching days, my mobility days have really helped a lot. Most important factor to all of this is sleep and diet too. So my nutrition, I try to stay away from as processed food as much as possible. I want to fuel my body with as much nutrients, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, healthy fats, fuel, carbs, glucose, you name it. All these combination of things that I talked about on my previous video. Processed foods are high in calories, very, very little nutritional value. Whole foods, lower in calories, more nutritional value. So help your immune system, health, helping you recover, helping you build tissues, helping you just everything to make you, you. And then you're making another little life form. So you're needing double of that. So I have actually been increasing my calories. I'm up from what I was originally doing about 350 calories, which is divided between protein, carbs, and fat. Uh, I'll plan to be up by 500-ish calories, probably more by the time I'm breastfeeding. Um, and because of the slow increase, this has helped me, for one, provide my body with everything I need, and of course, the baby. Also gaining healthy weight, so not gaining too much weight too fast, but not gaining weight at all. So I, I'm up about, about almost 15 pounds, which was halfway to my goal weight for pregnancy. Now we gotta think too that weight gain is not just putting fat on your body. Weight gain has a, is a variety of other things like the blood volume, placenta, fluids, baby, combination of things that are going on here, okay? It's not just the weight you're putting on your body. Yes, your body will store fat, but only the, your body's smart. It'll only store the amount that it needs. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see going into third trimester because I always hear it's kind of like, then it starts to get rough again. But you know what? I'm taking it as it comes and I'm embracing it as it comes and adjusting and modifying when I get there. So hiccups have been the weirdest pregnancy symptom that I've had so far. I've been, I've been taking videos and documenting and stuff for you guys, so I will share the clips of kind of how it's been the last couple months. I feel like they know. Yes, yes my boo-boos, hi. Hi, puppies. They were always like super needy and followed me everywhere in the first place, but they're like extra right now. Like extra. Are you extra? Are you extra, huh? Do you know what's gonna happen? Do you know what's gonna be joining us in our family? Huh? Um, 
What are you doing? Uh, Nick is, is super excited. As, as I've been growing, he's just like, I love it. He's like, it's so sexy. <laughs> I love him so much. Like he just he just knows how to make me feel. He make, he literally makes me feel like I'm the only woman in the world. I think started to feel her. I have an anterior facing placenta, which has obviously makes it take longer for you to feel movement. When I get ready to relax at night or go to bed, that's when I feel the flopping, the bubbly, fluttering feeling. I'm actually starting a garden. They are right there. I know a lot of you guys wanted to know how I was gonna do the process. I was gonna include it in like a day in a life update video, but I'm gonna do a whole video separate just for getting my raised garden bed started. I know I keep saying, I know it's gonna calm down and I'm going to get like better at doing this YouTube thing, but it hasn't calmed down. All right guys, so that was a little update. Hopefully I got everything in and I'll share all those little clips with you guys. That I Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will be back with more videos, I promise. I just don't have a specific time frame for you guys. <laughs> but thank you guys for just being patient and just always being there, your support and just love. You guys are awesome. I don't know, I can't even, I've lost count how long I've been doing YouTube now and all of you guys that are just still there, just, just supporting me. Supporting me in my crazy journey. And I love it, I love you guys. So I just wanna thank you. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Mwah! I <laughs> thought you were licking me. Pregnant fit. <laughs> Pushing the jeans. These are fit jeans. You got a little bit of stretch to them still. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Babe, I'm pregnant and fabulous. Yes. <laughs> so we're headed to do a little bit of baby shopping and some stuff. Oh my god, so cute. That's a basement. Okay, if only we get a guinea pig. We get this bit of fly. And this one. Babe. No, it's not sucker. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> what did you pick? Go with the little unicorn theme. Yeah. <laughs> Get some basic, basic whites. Just gonna be a basic B. I'm gonna get a baby stroller Jeep from a Jeep. <laughs> Nobody else is gonna give her a stuffed animal. This is the first one and only one. Yep, 10 I, years old. I picked it. Yeah. Get some little headbands. So, got some cotton candy skies.
this is the reality of my situation right now. Unzipped <laughs> Up. All right, the room. What are we going to do? So this is the room that will be hers. It is the game room slash guest room right now. I think we might take these things out. The bed's gonna go out. I'm gonna keep this little guy. Put some of her things in there. Um, as far as like theme, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. So I am a min minimalist. Nick is opposite of that. He likes very like flashy extravagant things. Just throws things together. So I think we're gonna try to put our heads together and kind of meet in the middle with minimalist plus crazy. You know, he's been out of town working a lot. So I've been waiting for a good weekend for us to do this together because I'm not gonna do it while he's gone. Um, I want him to be really a part of it. He really wants to be part of it. So I'm gonna respect that. But I have done this. I have organized the closet. I have the closet organized. I've been getting some gifts from my baby registry that have been showing up on my doorstep. <laughs> and every shopping trip, I pick up a box of diapers. So far we have five. <laughs> Gonna try these uh, Kirkland brand ones out. Because a bunch of my girlfriends have said out of the ones they've experienced that these were the best that they like so far. So we'll try them out. Hopefully they work. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, a boppy. So I got that in the mail. Also got this little uh, table chair, which I really wanted that. So one of my girlfriends says she has this and she loves it. Um, this is gonna be like my little diaper caddy thing that I'll probably carry around the house. I'll probably have stuff in here. I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't be changing in here all the time. And then we got our stuff that we bought. In here. Just kind of keeping them in there right now. I got the baby, baby Doppler that a friend got me, gave this to me. I think you can just give, get this from Baby Doppler online. Um, I got this uh, gel, Aquasonic Ultrasound Gel off Amazon. And then I've got my Hakka colostrum collector, so I'll be probably collecting this very soon. This will be my like my postpartum like essentials that'll be in my bathroom in this basket when that time comes. So these were actually from my wedding. So they were, this was my little shawl that I wore with my wedding dress. By the way, this is my wedding dress. And that was one of the bridesmaids shawl as well. And I'm saving them so I can do pictures with her in them. You know, kind of have a nice little backdrop. So this whole setup was already in the house when we moved in here. Uh, I'm not sure where they came from, but they're from the original owner. Original people were in, who were in here had a baby, and this is, was for them. So I'm using, utilizing these. I already have, but look at all this stuff. We're accumulating some stuff I've gotten in the mail already, like these cute little bows. Oh, look at these shoes. My girlfriend got me these little <laughs> shoes. Oh my god. So a lot of little outfits. Let me go down here. So my mom actually got me the little. Hi! Wow! 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 <laughs> the little elephant shower. My mom loves elephants, so this caught her eye. So she. Uh, had this sent to me but it's just a little battery activated. Isn't it cute? Oh, so cute. Then we got a baby book in here that'll be ready for her. So one of my um, viewers made these and had them sent to me. Look how freaking cute they are. 
Oh my gosh, she did such an amazing job on these. So they're like the little toys and stuff that you can attach to your clothes. What am I doing, Can You go potty? Yeah? Is that what you're waiting for? Go pee pee? <laughs> and the very last drawer. <laughs> We've already gotten stuffed animals. And I know Nick was like, nobody else is getting her stuffed animals. Because he wanted to be the only person that was giving her stuffed animals. But yeah, so we've got a few popping up here. Two blankets here. I think this is a shallow one. I don't know if you guys want to see it. I'm sorry. It's kind of getting some stuff going here. Kind of got more room to add more to it. So I actually want to get a nice little dresser that can also be a changing table. But I'm gonna wait till the hubby gets home so we can do that together. Start building this room up. You know, we're gonna do something, I just don't know yet. So excited, I just got a special delivery. Um, yeah. What did your mama get? What's your, what's your note? Guess what? Body pillow for the prego lady. Look how flat they are. They worked in the beginning, but now they're not quite working. I wanted something that was going to be not fall apart. Uh, there's a lot of reviews of different other body pillows from Amazon and stuff. Horrible reviews. The U-shaped one. Oh my god, I'm so excited to sleep tonight. Oh, 